You gotta turn the mics on. Yeah, there we go. You see that when it when it turns color like that? Is that how you That's know? That's mean. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're not colorblind? Yes, I'm not. Yes, you're not. So I couldn't even find you. You want to? Are we gonna do the news? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, he I has it. it. Okay. I hear me over there. You hear you? Oh, yeah. should I put, DMV. put my phone on? Do, yeah. do not disturb. Just yeah. I'll just focus my phone. Get focused, would you? I'll get focused. I probably have a button. I have. It's cold. It's cold. Is have, it cold? Have you noticed the weather? No. It ain't. I'll, no. I'll, I'll, I'll touch the button, John. Some of us Maybe are I'll strong. Push it. Some of us are from Wisconsin. <laughs> Some of us aren't. <laughs>
I'm not sure. I do have to say, it you, was did, a long you time didn't ago. fool me. But I have an advantage over most people. You do. I spend far too much time with you. Yes. I don't believe anything comes out of your mouth. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> everything That's you why say, we're still on the air. Everything you do is suspect. <laughs> right. So I didn't believe it for a second. Right. Uh, there, there have still been people coming in here trying to use up their gift cards before, before April 31st. The, April 31st. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it was well done. Yes. It was well done. It, it was very well done. Yeah. Yes. Kudos to you and your team. Yes. I will tell everyone we're going to do to, what we're going to do today. Okay. We'll go over our current location. Uh, we'll have news and events. We have a special guest. We do. Do you know who that is? Nikki. Nikki from? Yeah, Chain Reaction Cyclery. Ah, see, I'm all in my kit. Oh, I'm ready I, to go. Is that what? I didn't even notice. I know you didn't notice. <laughs> see, you can't believe a thing he said. We'll go over the meat market mailer. That's something new and exciting. Yes. The April lunch contest is underway. We'll cover that. The weekly specials. A new product, yes. special upcoming days, a winner of last week's contest, and would you like to do another contest yes, this week? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. 266. 266. 266. And I'm fully prepared. Are you already? Oh, yeah. What'd you get me? I can't tell you. 266 <laughs> days till Christmas. Yet. Days till Christmas. Yes. I just don't want to surprise anybody. Yeah, thanks. Uh, for anyone who may not know, please, Luke, tell us where we are. We are at uh, Jacob's Meat Market in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. It a is beautiful. beautiful snow-filled Appleton, it's Wisconsin. A lovely day today, as yeah. of last night and this morning. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, halfway between uh, College Avenue and Wisconsin Avenue on Law and Pacific. You have an address? We do. What is it? A home address or? Five four four North Law. Oh. Everybody, five four four okay. North Law. This could be a long show. It could be. News. I have some news. Yes. Uh, you don't have any news, right? Because no. Nope. Okay. No. On um, today's episode of BSTV, we have Nikki, uh, Chain Reaction Cyclery, my local bike shop. Yes. My local bike shop. Uh, next week on BSTV, uh, we'll have Origami Man. Yes. Does that need any explanation? No. Okay. Will he? Do you think it needs explanation? No. We'll How about on, this? We'll if you need week. explanation, you can just explain it. See what I put up with, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See what I. For you, I do this all for you. Yeah. <laughs> and the following week, uh, Jason from Stuck's Pizza. Yes. Pizza and Pints in Nina. Yes. Uh, we've been there. We have. We yes. have been there. Yes. We, we've had a pizza. We have. I didn't have a pint. And I had a pint. You had a pint. Or two I or had three root or beer, four. I think. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I had a pint. Not a pint of root beer. I might have been. It was in a bottle. Yes. I don't know. Continued. Events. <laughs> events. I'm going to go over the events today, April 3rd. No, that's that's special days. Events tomorrow, April 4th. Free admission day to the Trout Museum. You know, I plug that every month mm -hmm. because I think it's the first Thursday of every month. Yes. Have you been yet? I have not. Okay. It's from have 10 a.m. to 7. I have not. <laughs> I am a member. But oh, I've really? never actually gone. I'm a member on the free day too. No, I'm a member member. Oh. That's so I can get discounts at the gift shop that I never go to. Oh. Because you, a, you can sign up perk. for membership online. They make it easy. What a great But to perk. go there, you actually have to go there. To go there, you to actually go there, have, you have to, go, to there. go there. No yeah. kidding. This Friday, April 5th, Timber Rattlers Home Opener. I think this is baseball. Yes. And they're playing uh, somebody called the Peoria, Peoria Chiefs. Peoria Chiefs? Peoria. P Peoria. Sure. P P sure. Peoria. 6.40 p.m. Tickets are from 10 to $35. That seems affordable. It does. I think the weather will be nice. When is this? Friday, Friday. 6.40 p.m. I mean, it's okay. not going to be snowing. Okay. we got to define Do you know nice. where Peoria is? It's in Illinois. Yeah. Where in Illinois, I don't know. Okay. But somewhere in that state. I think it's uh, western Illinois. Western. Yes. Okay. This Sunday, April where 7th, Chiefs are. Kimberly Community Band Spring Concert. I know Ooh. you want to be there. Cool. Kimberly Community Band Spring Concert at the J.R. Garrett's Middle School Auditorium from 2 to 3 p.m. You'll like this because admission is free. Ooh. And they're going to be playing hits from Aaron Copeland. George Gershwin, Philip Sousa, and others. Huh. Isn't that fantastic. Is that John Philip Sousa? It's John Philip Sousa. Oh, yeah. wow. The the marching dude. Oh, yeah. Okay. Would you like to take a look at the weather? I think we should oughta. I see it. Ooh. I see it. It's pretty. Yeah. It has stopped snowing. It, uh, it has can you stopped look closer? Snowing. It has stopped the... snowing. <laughs> okay. It has stopped Maybe snowing. Maybe you need to change your glasses or something. Change them. Change them. Special guest, Nikki. Nikki. Chain reaction. Yes. You ready? I am. We'll be right back. Okay.
Uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, uh, we're back with Nikki from Chain Reaction. Nikki, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> thank you, Luke, Appreciate for having it. me. <laughs> yeah, can you tell us about Chain Reaction, uh, where you're located? Yes. Maybe let's start with that. Okay, sure, we're, so we're in Appleton, um, between College and Wisconsin, um, on the corner of Winnebago and Superior Street, at okay. 818 North Superior. Okay, yeah. okay. Where's the landmark? Is there a school uh, right, right by, by you? Columbus, Columbus School. Columbus School? Yeah, okay. it's really close, or right down from Wilmar's Candy. Ooh, Another I think good a lot one. of people know Wilmar's Candies. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, so when were you started? Uh, 2007. 2007 by you? By me. Okay, yeah. awesome. Ended up. <laughs> awesome. And how do you feel about that? Uh, it was an. It's been great so far. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, managed awesome. a couple other shops here in the valley, and okay. Um, decided to take the leap and. That's awesome. myself. So. That's, that's really, yeah. really cool. It's, it's how do you, you feel all right about that now? Uh, well, I mean, we made it that? through. Seven, um, seven. It's going on 17 years. 17 years. So wow. we've, we've made it through. Yeah. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. So, so a couple short years ago uh, was the pandemic. Yeah. How did that? How did that treat you guys for well, the pandemic? Well, March hit. We didn't know what was going to happen. Thank goodness we were able to leave the shop open um we were considered necessary uh transportation thank goodness and sure uh, we were lucky enough that it was really really busy for us yeah. one of the businesses that thankfully made out really well sure. so really anything with the outdoor industry did really really well during the pandemic sure. so people could at least get outside and you know Right. So kind of be around others, but have their space. So right. It, yeah. It was, it was really good. Outdoors, so a lot yeah. of people could still be with other people biking or whatever, right. and then they would, you know, six feet away and all that sort of stuff. So. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's really awesome. Um, so have you seen it decline at all, or have you? Is, um, has, has it maintained a or? A slight decline, but I okay. mean, it's still up from when, obviously, the last ten years of when we started. Sure. So, um, sure. Yeah, no, I mean, bikes are still selling, still repairing. It's, it's been very okay. good. Okay. So it's nice to see people are still getting outside, still using the bikes they bought during the pandemic, and right. not just letting them collect dust. Right, so. right, like mine. Um, so can you tell us, <laughs> so you, you were talking about sales and uh, service, is that is that your main things yeah, that you guys do uh, at Bicycle Reaction? sales and service, we work on really anything and everything. Okay. Um, yeah, as long as it doesn't have fuel we'll work on it oh okay 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 um so uh so e-bikes you mm -hmm. you do work on e-bikes you yeah, sell e-bikes can you tell us something about e-bikes oh, i sure. mean how do you i've seen i've seen bikes biking on the road and like there's not they're not pedaling and yeah i'm like that's cheating isn't it <laughs> well you know and, and not all e-bikes i mean have a throttle on it so a lot of them you still have to pedal okay not all of them okay um but yeah we started carrying e-bikes a couple of years ago we carry denago which is a brand based out of texas okay um and it's been a, a good addition to our shop um, sure. We see, you know, younger people getting them, some our older crowd, and it, it allows a lot of spouses to still ride with their other spouse, especially if they're a little faster. Right. Um, wind doesn't matter anymore. Hills don't matter. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Wow, it's, that's it's awesome. It's been pretty cool. They can go very fast, but they don't have to if you're not comfortable with that. Okay. I mean, sure. brand that we carry can go up to 28 miles an hour if you really wanted to. Oh, wow. Not that they usually leave going that fast, though. Right, but. right. <laughs> they have governors on them that you can... Tweak them down a little bit. Uh, yes, they essential. Okay. essentially. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's see. Are there any trails in the Fox Cities that you that you recommend? Yeah, I mean, there's some. Um, I mean, the locally um, trails all around Appleton, which are really sure. great. Um, yeah bunch of maps all over the place if you're not sure where to find them. Do you have maps in the store? We do, okay. yes. Okay, okay. Yep. I mean, and Loop the Lake is really great. I mean, the Fox River Trail is not that far. Um, How far is Loop the Lake? Is it oh, around Lake Winnebago? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, the other oh, lake? Just Fox Cities area. Oh, okay. Essentially, okay. they're expanding it because I know that they're trying to add another section um, by High Cliff so that then okay. you can get out to High Cliff without having to go on some of the major, sure. you know, busier roads. Okay. So. I've heard of Loop the Lake, and I thought it, I was assuming that it was Lake Winnebago. No, so Because no. there's a, there's there's a race, race the around. Lake. Okay, yeah, Race the Lake. That's what it was. 88, 90 oh, really? miles or so. Yeah. So yeah. doable. Yeah, in yeah, three days. Just, yeah, well, no, just have to train a little bit. It's not oh, bad, you oh. know. You're supposed to train for stuff like that. <gasps> Ideally. 
ideally, not okay. But okay. you know, muscle memory. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> or just get an e-bike. <laughs> right. And then just have it. Uh, that's just pick up some of your jerky, and it'll just power you through. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it, living in Appleton, um, I, I mean, I've been here for 42 years, mm -hmm. and they have, they have gone from. I don't want to say not bike friendly, but yeah. bike friendly nowadays because sure. there's more bike more bike lanes that you have to watch out for. You know, as as, mm -hmm. a, as a driver, mm -hmm. um, can you tell us about like, do they ever ask you like routes or anything like that? Do they ever involve any bike shops in? Oh sure, I mean so there is definitely Greenways um, local organization which helps um, you know further trail development and um, uh, but. Really, the infrastructure around Appleton has definitely improved over the years. Way more um, bike lanes than we used to have, bike trails than what we used to have. Right. Um, I think easier to find. Um, even if it's not a dedicated bike lane, there's something called a Shero, which um, you can either, you know, if you're a bike, you have precedence over the road, over the vehicles. Uh, plenty of those. Do the vehicles know that? <gasps> Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better. Sure. It's getting better. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Appleton's definitely more bike friendly than it has been over the years. Sure. But okay. Uh, and and I was going to improve. Like, we we can always obviously improve. <laughs> right. There's going to be a bike lane in on Law Street here, I believe, mm -hmm. in the next couple of years when they're do, we're going to redo the road. Oh, awesome. So, so I you know I think that more people recognize the bikers around because there's been more high visit high vis stuff just like eric was wearing before mm -hmm. um, right I, obviously you want to be able as a as a driver you mm -hmm. want to be able to see the bikes yeah bicyclists and you don't want to you know obviously run them over or anything like that but high vis stuff Preferably like that has not good yeah for right right tough on the bodies right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends if you're in the vehicle or on the bike i guess but um so yeah uh um i think that stuff like that has been has brought more bicyclists you know mm -hmm. more more visibility for obviously the via, the, the people driving oh yeah i mean and really just after the pandemic how many more people were getting on bikes to even you know go do basic errands around town or try right. to get their families out on bikes and bike lanes have definitely help with that because it's provided just a, a nice um easy to use area that families can go ride together right. which is great sure and, sure um yeah so uh, i've i've noticed a lot of people biking with uh with gas prices, you know, they were they were sky high for a while there. Yeah. Um, they've come back down a little bit, but I've noticed that a lot more people are biking to work too. Oh, that's, sure. That's a lot more. And commuting the, has been on the rise for the last decade or so, especially sure. with gas prices. And I mean, and just, um, I mean, car upkeep and the cost of vehicles and stuff like that. Right. And uh, e-bikes have really helped out with that. I mean, we've sold a, a ton to people that decided to ditch the car and start doing more commuting, even in the winter months, which has been really cool. Really? Okay. Um, or, you know, fat bikes are great. The big sure. tires. Yeah, the, that was, I was going to bring that up before. Yep. Uh, just a big, <laughs> do you sell a lot of those? We do. You do? We okay. Do. Yeah, okay. for sure. Because I've seen them around town and, and uh, even in the summertime and I'm like, oh, yeah. isn't that, yeah. I think that's more for like, not mudding, but you know, like more more treacherous terrain oh no like no that, you can use those all year round you um, can oh absolutely they're okay. fun on the trail they're fun on the beach i mean okay obviously wherever you want to take these things sure. it's really a four season kind of bike okay okay yeah. wow um so so i put a put together some of uh, uh, uh unique vocabulary words <laughs> awesome <laughs> for <laughs> for cyclists maybe I, I let me just grab this here all right. So, can you enlighten us on what uh, arrow means? Sure. So, I mean, it's either Not A R R O W. Oh, good. Okay. A E R O. Thank you for the clarification. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, arrow could either be like helmet, you know, very sl you know streamlined, you know, piece of equipment. It could be bike. They have tubing that is, um, you know, I guess. Aerodynamic. More, I keep more aerodynamic. Not okay. the same word, but you okay. know, even wheels that are deeper dish. Uh, sure. Positioning on arrow bars. Okay, yeah. gotcha, there you gotcha. Go. <laughs> All right, uh, how about flats? Uh, typically when you just don't have any air in your tires. Oh. Yeah, old usually on the bottom though, not on the top. Not, is that a problem if it's on the top as no, well? No, it's fine. Oh, that's it's okay, fine? Because oh, really it's okay. just the tires touching on the bottom, so oh. flats on the top are fine. That, that really makes sense. Thank I goodness. thought I was talking about shoes. <laughs> yeah. All right, how about uh, a door prize? What did, what did you call it? <laughs> it's not a door prize, but... I, uh, we just talked about this a couple minutes ago and yeah. I can't even remember what. In doored? A door. Oh, that's right. Being doored. Being doored. <laughs> yes. 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 What is that? Uh, apparently it's when somebody opens up their car door and you run into it. Oh. My husband's had that happen <laughs> yeah? in San Diego a couple times. Yeah. In San Diego? Yeah. 
<laughs> Not he looks pleasant. Like he, he looks Not like pleasant. he reacted all right. Or, I, uh, he did more damage recovered. to the car oh, than I anything. Bet. Oh, yeah. I no. bet. <laughs> so is that what's, is that, did he soil sample then? Uh, Maybe more um, concrete sampled. Concrete sampled? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So that's when you go over the handlebars and you... Yeah, OTB. Yeah, and you end up kissing the ground. Kissing the <laughs> Maybe stomping a little bit too. <laughs> That's right, right. How about a fixie? A fixie, one speed and you can't stop pedaling. So think when you're a little, your big oh, wheels. Man, yeah. Or a tricycle. Yeah. yeah. So if you stop pedaling, your feet just want to keep on going. Yeah. Yep. Oh man. <laughs> All right, one more. How about a, a century? A uh, hundred miles, but then there's even a metric century, which is 62 miles roughly. 62 so. miles, okay. Yeah. Okay. So is that a, that would, would that be a kilo? Metric. Metric? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. We'll go with that. Um, do you like apples? I, I've heard this is a question. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. In pies. And pies? In, in or pies. In, oh, in pies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Um, I think you covered all of these questions. Is there anything else that we should know? about Chain Reaction Cyclery? Uh, come visit us. We're open Monday through Friday. I take the weekends off. Good so, for you. So, yeah, we're here 10 to 6, Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday through Friday, 10 to 5.30. Um, we're okay. on Facebook, Instagram. Shoot me an email. Got a good Give website. Hmm? 920-733-1141. Oh, that's really close to ours. Yeah. Yeah, we're at 733-1031. Oh, see, all in the same vicinity. Yeah, how about just that? the same ones. How about that? Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you very much for Sweet. coming. I thank really you. appreciate the time. Very and uh, if you'd like to get your um, bicycle cycle, bicycle Fixed. serviced. Yeah, serviced. Yeah, yeah serviced yeah. or or purchased. Um, <laughs> visit Nikki out uh, Chain Reaction Cyclery. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll be right back. Ellen. And there's our microphones are on. Sorry for the slight delay, but he was just being 
reprimanded for his <laughs> April Fool's prank by customers in the store. I hope that happens throughout the it, day. Oh, it has. <laughs> it has. Yes. Fantastic interview with Nikki. Yes, thank you. Nikki is where I take my bike for service. Yes, you should apparently too. I will too. <laughs> yes, you should too. If nothing else, it needs... Have you ever put oil on the chain? No. Uh, no. No. Because that will WD-40? ruin everything. No, that is not oil. That's a, lu- that's a cleaner. That's a, that's a cleaner. That's a cleaner. That's a cleaner. Okay. Yeah, I thought don't, it was a lubricant. Don't touch your, don't touch your bike. You just okay. take it to Nikki. I haven't <laughs> touched to... my bike for a while, so. You recently went on a small shakeout ride, didn't you? Yeah. 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 Now you take it to her. About four blocks and four blocks. As you might know, I like to ride in the mornings. Yes. Um, Are you talking to me or the audience? You. Oh, okay. Yes. But I like to include the audience. Yeah. <laughs> um, I usually like to go about 30 minutes before sunrise mm-hmm. because the traffic is really lo- light. Right. Uh, but I won't go if it's less than 39 degrees or so. Oh. Because it's too cold. Right. You can go, but it's not as enjoyable. Correct. So I'm waiting till next Tuesday. Next Tuesday should be 40 degrees in the morning. Really? So I'll be out there. If you get your bike serviced before then. Oh, shoot. I don't think she can get it in by then. I'll admit, I can pull some springs. Uh, springs. Oh. <laughs> springs. Springs? Springs. I springs. I said springs. Yeah. I, you have, you, have, you do have uh, shocks. fun shocks, don't you? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Sure. Yeah, I think you do. Sure. I, I, I remember your bike a little bit. I don't know. That one time. Did we go twice or once? Uh, once. Once. We, yeah. We should think about doing it again, maybe. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. <laughs> Meet Margaret Mailer. <laughs> yes. I got one this morning. Uh, in my happy email, haircut, in my, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Tell us all about the Meat Market Mailer. Uh, Meat Market Mailer is uh, an email to email twice a week that you get on Sundays on, and Wednesdays. On Sundays, you get the uh, weekly lunch menu that we serve Monday through Friday from one to two, or from eleven to two. And <laughs> I hate, 11, do, I hate eleven doing, to two. I hate doing live sometimes. Uh, so eleven to two, Monday through Friday, we serve uh, one lunch, uh, and so it's one entree and two sides. Uh, we also serve a soup. Um, and so we serve that Monday through Friday, uh, and we also get the Monday Tuesday specials on Sunday. On Wednesdays, just like this morning, you got the weekly specials, which are Wednesday through Saturday, um, and while supplies last. Delivered right to your inbox, yes. your email inbox. Yes, email, electronic how, mail. How yes. much does this service cost? It's free. Free. How do yeah, I get today. in on it? And that's no April Fool's. That's no April. Fool's. Yes, yes. Right on our website, JacobsMeatMarket.com. On the right-hand side, uh, just fill in your email address and click submit, and you are part of the club. Okay, so the only thing I need is internet access. Yes. Some device that connects to websites yes. and an email address. That's yes. all I need. I that's probably all have I all of those things. You do. I, yeah, you that's do. why you, you receive it. Yes. That's why I receive it. Yes. Yeah, I, I got the specials this morning. I didn't look at them because I wanted you to surprise me. You didn't look I'm, at them. No, I wanted I wanted to surprise. You just clicked me. junk or no? I read the little paragraph that you write. You did. Yeah. That's the only reason. Which part did you remember? The the apology for the April Fool's joke. Oh, oh, okay. (laughs) The the non-apology for the April Fool's joke. Right, yeah. Sorry, not sorry. Speaking of lunch. Yes. Today is chicken cordon bleu. Yes. And not this week, probably not the next week, but the last two weeks, uh, Wednesday, broad fries, starting again. And that's, I look forward to that. Just in time. Just in time. You know, Rena was reminding me yesterday that in... Two weeks. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. Where mm-hmm. she's going to be outside grilling those brats. She was so looking forward to it as it started to snow. Uh, she's a trooper. She she, she can she, do it. She, sure. She's she, a trooper. She's from Wisconsin. She is. Okay. She can do it. She can do it. <laughs> um, speaking of lunches, however. Yes. During the month however. of April, there is a contest. Yes. That goes I've hand heard of in this hand contest. with the lunches. So apparently, if I understand it correctly, I, if I buy a lunch, I can fill out a little ticket at the at the cashier. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, your name and phone number. My name and phone number, or yes. email address, or yes. both, or sure. my mailing address, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and everyone who does that, there's a random drawing at the end of the month. Yes. And the prize, right here on BSTV. The prize is lunch with Luke. Lunch with Luke. Lunch yes. with Luke. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can pass it up if you want. I've, I, I would imagine some people will say, oh, no thanks, thanks, no but thanks. no thanks. Yeah. True. I can imagine lots it's of people me. saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so that's running. Through the end of April. Yeah, April 31st. So it'll be the first Wednesday in next month uh, that we'll, we'll pull the winner. May Day. May Day. May 1st. May 1st. Yes. Let me just check that. May 1st. It's right after. May it's 1st. the day after the, April 31st. April 31st. <laughs> April 31st. Um, weekly specials. Do you have a joke? 
you have a joke, Luke? Yes, you had one. So, so the Brewers won yesterday. It was their, who, who did it was they their home, play? They, they, uh, the this, other team. Okay, the other uh, team. The Twins, I think it was, maybe. From Minnesota? The Minnesota Twins? Yeah. The Twin yeah. City Twins? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because they started the season playing New York Mets. Mets. Yes. Okay. Whew. Yeah, good thing you led me into that because I didn't know who they were, who they played. Anyway, I'm not a huge a joke, fan. Not yes, yes. Yeah, continue, so, please. So now they can sell beer the rest of the year. Why? Because they didn't lose the opener. <laughs> that wasn't their opener. The home opener. Oh, the home opener. Gotcha, yes. gotcha. So many different kinds. Home opener home doesn't, opener. yeah. They didn't yeah. lose it. So this this means they have something with which they can open the beers? Yes, okay. yes. I wasn't going to explain the joke because a lot of people got it already. But for those I, I needed some clarification wrong. because that's a bad joke. Okay. I have a joke. Have, have you a got joke. a better one? I had a joke for, for Nikki. Nikki, I'll start yeah. with that one. Yeah, I remember uh, that. How, how did the barber win the bike race? The barber win the bike race? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. He took a shortcut. Oh, yeah. Or a shortcut. Uh, what do you call a therapist for cyclists? Don't look at the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I know now, but tell the audience. A psychologist. Psych Psychologist. Psycho. C by C Kyle. Yeah, right. Right. R weekly specials. Yes. I have buttons. Somewhere yes. I have buttons. Yes. Tenders. I've got a button. Uh, says yes, tenders. we have fresh, all natural chicken tenders for three ninety nine a pound. Now, uh, uh, describe these to me. Are they breaded? They are not breaded. They're not breaded. Okay. They're raw. They're raw. Yes. Uh, there's about five per pound. They're right over I there. See them. I they're see the them. chicken tenderloins. Okay. Is really what they're. Okay. Ch tenders is short for tenderloin. So uh, you could bread them and cook them if yeah. you wanted to. Yep, you could bread them and cook them, uh, bake them in the oven, um, or you could uh, cut them up and put them in like fajitas or stir fry. Oh. Some people do that too. Very good. They appreciate the the small, small size of them. Bite size portions. Yeah, yeah. Instead uh, of like the large chicken breast. You say them. approximately four or five per pound. Yes. Oh, that's good. Yep. That's mm -hmm. good. Uh, my so next three ninety nine a pound. Uh, we have boneless roast. chuck roast. Oh. Yes, boneless chuck roast. Boneless USDA chuck. choice, uh, five forty nine a pound. I'm looking at that. I, I'm not leaving without one because that okay. seems like a very good Max, candidate. He's not leaving without one. He for said. a slow cooker. Which one would you like? Uh, I'm gonna have you cut one of those in half. They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a roast, Eric. It's a roast. So uh, you can't cut one in half. Is that what you're saying? Oh, we could for you. We could, could, but don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Right. Yeah. A anything else you'd like to add about that? Uh, they're about three. Cooking. They're about yeah. They're about uh, two and a half to four or five pounds. Yeah, they're large. Yeah, yeah. It's also known as a pot roast if you like. Oh, do you have to cook it in a pot? Roast no. It, roast it in a pot. So you it's a don't. Pot roast? No, no, no. You can cook it in a slow cooker. Oh, that's like a pot. It's like a pot. It's like a pot. It's yeah, like a pot. but different. But different. Are we moving on? Yes. I got brats Please. here. Brats. Uh, yes, we have Jacob's own Philly cheesesteak brats. Oh. Like a Philly cheesesteak. That's pork broth. It's a pork broth, yes. It's a yes. pork broth that you have put Philly cheese into somehow. You took the pork took the, out. Take the pork out, mix it with the Philly cheese. Yeah, yeah, and then and you then put it all back. back in there with the cheese. And have you had them? I have. Have you They're had a Philly one of my cheese favorite. Uh, and not a true one from Philadelphia, but, but I've had reasonable many. Reasonable facsimile? Yeah. And yeah. do these taste kind of like a Philly cheesesteak? Uh, close, yes. Close. Yeah. I don't think the Philly cheesesteaks are pork, though. No, no, a Philly cheesesteak is typically beef steak. Beef steak. Yeah, yep. With, with um, but they, they taste very similar with, uh, um, they have dehydrated uh, green, green peppers and onions and stuff like that, oh. like a typical Philly cheesesteak. So it doesn't really taste like a broth? Correct. Like a pork broth? Right, okay. right. Good to know. With cheese in it. With cheese in it. Yes. I'm going to something called breasts. Yes, fresh Italian marinated boneless and skinless chicken breasts. Oh, okay, so we got the chicken tenders and we got the chicken Breasts. Breasts, and right. they're boneless. They are. And they're already marinated. Yes. That seems like a dinner. These Just are waiting. so, so good. You like so these, tender. Yeah. Yes, I do. Now, how many of these per pound, approximately? Uh, they're about a pound a piece. Pound a, a piece? A pound or so okay. a piece, yeah. yeah. And I think I could probably slow cook that or insta-pot it <laughs> if I wanted to. I thought we were going to still call it instant. No, I, I said it. Oh, uh, insta-pot. Yeah, I right. it's wrong and... And, and is a pet peeve of someone in our audience, I said I was going to continue to say Instapot. <laughs> yeah, right. Because that's right. how I am. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, you, you could. Um, I like to just, uh, just pan fry mine. Um, you can cut it into strips. I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. Just cut it into strips and then just pan fry pan it. Fry? And then put it over like some noodles. Noodles or be rice, maybe? Or rice, or yeah. Rice. Or mashed potatoes. I Once you to, buy it, I have to buy we really don't, don't care what you, you don't do care, with it. No. Yeah. You truly don't care. Truly. Uh, uh, 
We went to the Italian Meredith at Brest, and yes, now my next question is Italian. Italian. Yeah, another Italian. We have some Jacob's Own Chicken Italian Sausage. Oh, I had Italian sausage from here last night. You did? But it wasn't chicken. Right. I it was guess it was free. pork. I didn't say chicken free. Oh, okay. I don't know what you put in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. sausage. No one wants to know, really. Right, right. <laughs> Uh, so this is um, made with um, boneless and skinless chicken thighs, okay. so it's not going to be dry. No. Um, and it has our regular Italian sausage seasoning, okay. um, so it's delicious if you want to put it on pizza, uh, in pasta. Um, you can put it in uh, like a regular Italian sausage, put it on a, like a hoagie or something like that and put some marinara sauce over the top of it, some cheese. It's, it, they're really, really good. I'm going to have to try it because I was very, I'm very no. pleased with the Italian sausage. Yes. I, I opened it and, and browned it in a frying pan and then put pasta sauce in, heated that up, made some pasta. Delicious. 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 What kind of pasta did you make? I made penne pasta. And penne? I, penne pasta. And I used this. Who makes the pasta sauce that you sell here? Carmela's? Carmela's. Yes. It was good. Very, yes. very which, good. Which kind of sauce? Bolognese. Bolognese? Bolognese. Okay. But I don't. I think it would it would have been good, but not as good without the Italian sure, sauce. Sure, of course, the Italian of course. sauce great flavor. Made all the difference. Yes, beans to you. Yes, beans, beans. Uh, Jacob's gonna, own. Gonna continue with it? <laughs> I am. Okay. Jacob's own baked beans uh, on sale for apparently they're so pound. good. They are. That's the rumor. As heard. advertised, so they are so good. good. Yes. And they come in a little tub of container or something. So they, they we do we serve them up in the deli. Uh, okay. You can get a small like a half pound. Uh, you can get a one oh, pounder or a two pounder. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay, so I so we start small container. so we start with a national national brand bean, um, baked bean already baked and everything like that, and it's and it's good. But we uh, doctor it up. Yes. The Jacobs magic touch. Okay. Yes. Yes. They are delicious. I've tried just the other before and we doctor they're, them they're up. Edible. And they're yeah they're edible, right. but they're just not the Jacobs own. Well, it's good that you start with something that is at least edible. Yeah. <laughs> right. Sometimes we start with something inedible and then we make it edible. Do you? Yeah. Which one is that? I'm not really sure. Okay. I, just after I said it, I was like, oh, maybe. I'm moving on to burgers. Yes. Some kind of burger. We have some delicious bacon cheeseburgers. Oh. These are not already cooked and on a bun or anything like They're that, not? but these are raw. Raw. And you just have to grill them or pan fry them or bake them or however you cook your burgers. Am I looking at them? Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Yes. When we started making them, there was a customer that came in that said, you, do you have corn in there in those burgers there? I could I could it, see how yeah it, it kind of looks like little, corn but that's the cheese obviously pieces of cheese that yes from a distance could look like corn. right right so this is high temp cheese because if you if you think about when you grill something um, you put the cheese on the last, last minute yeah. yeah so that it melts or whatever but if you would put that on the grill right away that if it was not high temp it would just kind of melt that's out that's very convenient because I do like bacon and cheese on my burgers I had, and it's all in one package there yes I had two last night did you? Did you cook yeah. them first? I did, yes, did. this time, yeah. Uh, but I had the frozen variety, um, and then oh, we have geez. some we have some fresh as well as some frozen as well. I too. just have to take everything, don't I? Yes, yeah, they're only six ninety nine. I bottle. don't know if I have a button for. I have a button that says weekend. WKD. WKD. Uh, WKD. Can you explain oh, this? Oh, White Knight Development. White Knight Development. Yes. I've heard of them. Yes. They have were you? recently in the news, weren't they? They were recently in the news. Yes. Very They're a recent. Fly by night organization that wants to steal your money. Huh? <laughs> they sh at 401 a share. Yeah, 401 yes. A share. Yes. Yeah. So 401 is April 1st, obviously. Oh, you had to explain yeah. that too. Yeah. Right. Right. It's a good thing because I was going to go right over my head. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. So that's obviously just a joke, so but that's just joke. to bring it up about the. About because the it White was, Knight Development LLC. If I remember LLC. correctly, it was White Knight Development LLC that yes. purchased Jacob's Meat Market yes. and provided you with a four room, five bathroom penthouse on the fifth floor. Yes. Uh, with private elevator and a heliport. And Something not only else? that, sweeping views. Sweeping views. Sweeping views of, everything of there the is Fox to see. River. Yes, the Fox River, Lawrence University, City Park, and downtown Appleton. Downtown Appleton. You could probably yes. see the 222 building. <laughs> Probably. So that's a joke. That's a joke. Uh, yes. Well, I mean, I said you should print some up if people want to buy them. I mean, we've had a couple They're worthless. inquiries. They're worthless. They're, we've had a couple inquiries this morning already on our Facebook page. Are they coming in? Oh, on the Facebook uh, page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moving right along, <laughs> new product. I see one right there. Yes. I'll let you introduce yes, that. Yes, uh, we have some Kellogg's Frosted Flakes here. I've heard about them. You have. What well, I, we just started carrying about them that they're not good, well, they're right. great. That's what I've heard. Yes, yes. He said that as a matter Yeah, yeah. Who, you know what this guy's That's name? That's Tony. Tony, Tony the, the Tiger, tiger. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes. So, uh, th- so no new products this no week. No new products. Right. But that's a good, a good staple to it's, have in your, in your delicious. pantry. Because you're that's never, actually cereal. It's a staple cereal. <laughs> I cannot. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I could use a box of those. You could. Just well, here you go. To keep in my pantry. Yes. I'm out of here. You could actually put those, uh, crunch them up and put them on the chicken tenders. Oh. And give them a nice little sweetness to them. What about the Italian? No. No. Okay. I could just put them in a bowl, put some milk on them. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm going to go over special days. Okay. Today, as a matter of fact, is a special day. It is. Today is April 3rd and it is National Walking Day and I will have you know that in honor of National Walking Day, I walk here today. You did? I did. Wow. I don't suppose you did. Uh, no. No. Well, you walked it in was, from the parking lot? I did, yes. <laughs> from my vehicle. Yes. So I parked the first parking lot. It's a lovely day for walking. It is. It's a lovely day for walking. The snow has stopped. Was it take a hike day last week? Uh, that's every day for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah. I don't know. Was it take, take a hike? I don't remember these things. I just read you them know, oh, and okay. I get on and with my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right, right. This Saturday. No, let's start with Sunday. This Sunday is National Beer Day. National Beer Day. Ooh. Did you know that? I didn't. I thought that was every day as well. Well, for you, perhaps. But this is uh, uh, when they made 1933. They okay. made beer legal to sell. Okay. So it, was that after Prohibition? Just after. Okay. Just after. And okay. They made it legal because. Are you surprised they, that I knew that? Uh, that you know what Prohibition was. What was Prohibition? When? When they well, wouldn't you let know. you. You asked if it was <laughs> after. I asked about the, the time frame. Yeah. 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 It was just after. Yes. It was just after. Anyway. When they didn't sell alcohol, right? At all. At all, yeah. At all. For 20 or 13 years or something like that. 20 or 13? Yeah. 1920 to 1933, I think. Don't quote me on that. Anyway. Okay. Uh, so Sunday That's when is Jacobs national... was started. <laughs> no. It says 45. <laughs> national Beer Day yes. is Sunday, which means Saturday is... Na- uh, <laughs> New Beer's Eve. New Beer's Eve. New Beer's Eve, New Beer's yeah. Eve. Yeah, that would make sense. It's funny that Sunday is National Beer Day. That's April 7th. That's my birthday. It is. You owe me a beer. But you don't drink beer. Not usually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Except for if it's National Beer Day? If it's National Beer Day, I might. Oh, okay. I might. Okay. I might. Uh, giveaway from last well, happy week. happy birthday. Why, thank you. Early. Did oh. I have that? How did no, I not, not have that? No, it's not in there. See, we did birthdays before. I don't have my birthday. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, and don't think I'm not going to mention your birthday when it's time. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. The giveaway from last week, you're giving away a bag of, a bag of wood for the smoker. Luke's wood, yeah. Luke's wood for the smoker. Yeah. We have uh, comments. Chris says, oh, we asked about brownies, the center cut or the side cut? Which kind of, oh, Chris, those kind of brownies. Chris, I like the side brownie, a little bit of crunch and a little bit of soft. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. Understandable. Yarn Prepper, if you may recall, said something about a cauliflower with cornflakes yes. on top. And we said, please give us the recipe. Yes. Here it is. Here it is. The real recipe for the cauliflower. I steam the whole head in my instant pot, uh, <laughs> melt about a half a stick of butter in a frying pan. Once melted, I add a one to two cups of cornflakes. I wonder if you could do frosted flakes. Cornflakes. Um, we like a lot. Keep the cornflakes moving so they get all they all get some butter and they don't get soggy. Um, get them a little bit browned on the edges and then spoon on the cauliflower head. Don't knock it till you try it. I would be willing to try that. Oh yes. Yeah. Sounds good. Is Yarn Prepper gonna bring some in? Didn't say. Address the camera. Yarn Prepper's probably watching. <laughs> Look at that. Hello boys. Hello boys. Yes, Yarn Prepper. Bring some in. <laughs> bring some on in. And uh, the winner this week, uh, David, whose comment was, my mom loves the tenderloins. We get her from Jacob's Meat Market. As, yes. As she should. He was, as a matter of fact, he was in uh, the, the studio audience last week. Yes. Oh. She's just giving him the bag of wood there. Yeah, You're going right. to win this. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Congratulations, David. Come on down and get your bag of wood for the smoker. This week's prize. I'll let you tell everybody because that was your idea and a good one. Oh, yes. Uh, so eight wieners, spelled incorrectly here. Uh, eight wieners. It's eight W-I-E. Buns. Oh. oh. <laughs> it sounds, looks like W-I-E to me. Yeah. Wieners, oh, does it? Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Although it's wieners. Uh, it's eight wieners, wieners uh, eight buns, and a pound of baked beans. A pound of baked yes. beans? Yes. This is a meal and a yes, half. Yes, it yeah. is. Uh, and to enter, you just have to comment on this video. 
down below, either here in YouTube or over in Facebook. You'll post it to Facebook once we're off the air? Yes. Okay. Yes. What would you like? You can comment anything you like. You'll yes. be entered. Give uh, us a recipe. You can comment on Eric's hair. Yeah. How, my birthday. How nice it is. Your birthday. How it maybe needs to be combed a little bit. Oh, let's see if we just do this. There you go. Oh, That's, how it needs to be still combed a little bit, maybe? Take your hat off. Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> or... Or April Fools? Something? Yeah, uh, uh, going along with the theme that we had for uh, April Fools, um, we'd like you to comment your best or worst um, or best April worst. Fool or best worst um, April Fools joke that's ever been played on you or that you've played on somebody else. Do you have an answer to that? Uh, I think it was the the White Knight the Development recent, LLC. Is that because yeah. you've forgotten all the others, or because it, no, I think it, this was so good. Yes, it got so much attention. Yes, it's, so in, the much paper. Attention. it's, yes, in, the it's in the newspaper. Yes. Yeah, I've never had a, an April Fool's prank hit the, get the news bank. Get no, the no. <laughs> have you had a Have you had a bunch that you've either done or got mm -hmm. done to you? That I've done throughout yeah. the years that you've done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but none that made the news bank. Okay. Till now. Till now. Yes till now because this was the best anyway yes comment on anything you like and when I was going to say the box of frosted flakes but that's mine <laughs> we might throw that in no you gave it to me oh there might be a little bit left uh, those are your lines yes yes uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of BSTV we'll be back again next Wednesday at 1030 with another live broadcast uh, please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel um, come visit us at the store, better yet, at the corner of Law and Pacific, where we are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. You're right. My hair is a little it. wonky, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a little. See it's you next worse week. Back in the back there. Yeah, that's why I face the camera. Bye. Yes. Have a great week. <laughs>